Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Correct. I'm gonna have to talk a little quick here. So what I did was lose a whole bunch of footage um, that I did capture um, on video. So what I'm doing is just adding what I was able to get back. Um, so in this video, uh, you see that I pulled out some tie rod ends and the MSD. Here I kind of primed uh, some mud flaps that George had and used the SEM trim black paint. Uh, it, they came out phenomenal. And this this is like part one basically this was coat number two uh coat number two looks super shiny it was put down pretty wet i did do a third coat uh, but that was off camera um this is the second coat for the back they came out fine this was the next day so guys i hope you guys enjoy this episode all right guys it's actually a few days later uh we got a couple different things in um which uh we were gonna need so Long story short, the uh, actual tie rods were seized to uh, the tie rod ends, and it, they were just really badly seized, and I could not get them separated. So, uh, George and I decided just to get the get the tie rod and the tie rod ends brand new, redo it. Might as well. We're here. We're gonna reuse the boots. The boots are still pretty good. Um, they held by these like really old rusty clips. Uh, I think zip ties will do a better job. So. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use those, uh, but guys, you already know this process. We got the uh, handy dandy tool here. Uh, I already got the piece right in there, ready to go, ready to rock. Uh, this is the one for the new uh, for the new uh, tie rods, which are right here. These are power steering tie rods, so they will go with the power steering car. So we're gonna go ahead and install these guys. Uh, then install the uh, the tie rod ends. We're gonna go ahead and move forward and put those guys on just so we can finish this section of the of the car because to be honest, we did the radiator, we got the headlights, uh, we did uh, the ball joints, got the ball joints, got this uh, the RCAs. Uh, we're gonna have the tie rods, the tie rod ends. Uh, sorry guys, if I still sound congested because uh, I still am, still feel kind of sick. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, in here, oh wait, let's go back to the cabin. So in here, I'm in the process of doing something here. This was some, some off-camera stuff that I was doing. This is an aftermarket steering wheel. Um, this here is, uh, George wanted a aftermarket steering wheel, which he has a beautiful one, which I'm not going to take it out here. I'm going to show you guys later because my hands are dirty too and I don't want to dirty it up. But uh, he got this pretty cool nifty thing. Uh, this is to keep the uh, cruise control. Uh, on the uh, aftermarket steering wheel. It's really cool. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to make something similar to this, but I, I, I'm going to make some improvements to it because this, it, it kind of works, but it's kind of annoying too uh, just because the way it's the way it's made and how you have to do it. But uh, I want to make some modifications to it because right now, uh, if he wanted to use his, uh, his, uh, quick release he's not going to be able to because this doesn't want to go through so i'm going to have to modify this regardless so we'll we'll get to that uh that's going to be on another episode i'm pretty sure but uh that's going to be some fun stuff uh this is some uh some stuff that i've been excited to do because it's going to be a real nice steering wheel it's going to look really good there uh moving forward uh as far as inside the the engine bay we got the uh intercooler already placed everything's all set there we're ready in here. There's really nothing else that needs to be done. Yeah, the clutch line is right there. We got the fuel filter there. Uh, I got the the piece here that I'm going to use for the return and the feed. Uh, yeah, guys, we are really ready to rock on this end. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. George did stop by and uh, gave me a couple things he wanted me to install. Uh, was the quick release, the steering wheel. Uh, yeah, sneak peek. Um, the he's got some bulbs that he wants me to put on because he said after all this he doesn't want to get hit uh which i don't blame him like after doing all this i wouldn't want to get hit either uh and get your mr2 totaled you know that's that's just not the way it needs to go uh but at that point this is where, where we're at for the back moving to the transmission stuff so still collecting still waiting on a couple more things but this is all the stuff that we're going to be using, guys. So uh, the transmission is already converted. So this is the E351 transmission. It was converted by TCS Motorsports. As you guys see here, it's been modified uh, to uh, work with the uh, 5S and, you know, just the, the, the MR2 in general. So this is off camera, 80,000 miles. I think this is pretty good. Um, this is, this is a, a, going to be a fun 
uh, experience, right? Because this is going to be the first one that I put together. Uh, and I'm uh, curious on how it's going to drive. Uh, right here we have the, <coughs> excuse me, we have the axles. So I have to make a pair of axles out of two pairs of axles. So right here we have everything. So I want to talk about that a little later because I want to really get into detail with that. Uh, we have the TCS Motorsports exhaust. And then we are ready to rock, guys. So um, let's just jump onto these uh, front end pieces real quick just so we can knock this out of the way and uh, call it a day, guys. So let's go. All right, guys, I stopped this uh, time lapse just because I would notice that I wasn't recording. So uh, I do want to show you what I did. Um, I did use this fancy tool uh, to remove this bad boy. Uh, like I said, I had to cut it because they were seized together. So we got brand new stuff right here. We're going to go ahead and install that. But first, we're going to go ahead and remove uh, the other one on the other side. So let's get to it. I'm going to try to record that one. I'm trying to remember to record it. So let's jump into it, guys, and let's go. got it out folks so now moving on to the next uh, step is now replacing all this stuff so uh, like I said we have all brand new stuff we're gonna start on this side we're gonna literally in reinstall everything that we just took off so we at least have that done so at that point everything will be nice and fresh as far as suspension goes and I mean George will be good to drive this thing as a daily so let's just jump into it guys let's go Thanks to Movie Magic, we got all these bad boys in. We got the bellows, we got the tie rods, we got the tie rod ends. Uh, on the passenger side, we also got the uh, same thing. Oops, sorry. The same thing on the driver's side. Everything's looked nice and fresh. Um, what you guys didn't see was I took apart this uh, 5S, got the automatic transmission out. Uh, I did that off camera, but we did finish um, the alternator and the alternator bracket. So that's all said and done. What I have to do now is just go ahead and put the uh, harmonic balancer on. I want to clean it up. It's a little rusty, so I want to make sure I clean it up before we go forward and uh, start pumping it inside the uh, inside the MR2, guys. So this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. So remember, like, share, subscribe. Um, I mean, what can I say? I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, for being subscribers to my channel. It really means a lot to me. Um, and things are going well. So soon we will be putting in this 3S GTE into this MR2. It's going to be phenomenal because I really want to hear how it sounds with that uh, TCS exhaust. So guys, until next time, remember, take care of each other.